Number two that I recommend that you look into or ask if you were looking at a hair transplant surgeon or practice, always make sure that the surgeon you're looking into is certified by the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery or the ABHRS. The ABHRS is the only recognized hair transplant board that is recognized by the medical community. And any doctor who decides to go through the rigorous testing process to get that sort of certification is not going to do bad work. They're guaranteed to do credible work. And this is something that a lot of uh, doctors internationally from all over the world will actually come to the United States to uh, take and then try to pass. Uh, one of the things about the hair transplant industry that I find a bit disconcerting is that this is a heavily unregulated industry. Unfortunately, unlike other medical fields where a doctor will do four years of medical school, earn his MD or DO, then do four years of residency, and then do a multitude of licensure exams and then practice in a particular field, uh, hair transplants doesn't really work like that. A lot of times, I don't think a lot of hair transplant surgeons even do a residency. A lot of times you have uh, hair transplant surgeons who kind of learn from another doctor already practicing. So one way to look at some qualified surgeons, aside from, you know, asking a particular practice, uh, going back to the first thing I talked about, you know, go to the abhrs.org website, and it gives a list of multitude of really good qualified doctors who I think do outstanding work. So yeah, let's move on to number three.